Go. Vape Nation! Oh my god! Quit! What up, my vaping brother and sisters? Venomous Vapes coming hard at you today with finally a hardware review. The big fucking tank. And I know I'm being all serious and shit with this big fucking tank thing, but uh, yeah, I'm wearing a poop emoji <laughs> uh, tank top. So, super excited about my little poop shit shirt. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get into this awesome review of a seriously badass tank. But before we get into anything today, guys, something came back that needs some recognition. My effusion, my baby, she's back. I missed it. I missed it so bad, and I've had it for a couple days, and just never put it down. I just, I missed it so much, and she's finally back. Before, uh, before we get into even more stuff, you, we gotta, we gotta just take a look at this real quick. Uh, finally, took it into Big E's and got a custom screen on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? Oh yeah, Venomous Vapes. You know I couldn't put anything else on there. Shit is sick, especially with the spider. So yeah guys, finally getting into a hardware review. It's been a long time coming, super excited. Um, before we uh, go into the up close time and give you every nook and cranny of this, uh, this tank here, I just gotta say that this tank is the jack of all fucking trades. I know that if you've been with me from the beginning, you know that this is, uh, this is the, uh, I guess, the, I didn't start using this tank until about my second video, but um, I've used three tanks in, in my vaping life. I've used the Griffin, I've used, um, oh, uh, totally blanking on the name right now, um, whatever, doesn't matter, obviously since I'm not using it anymore, <laughs> and then finally the BFT, and since the BFT, I won't even touch RDAs. Well, I, if I if I really want to, but and that's another thing I gotta say. If you RDA users out there are just tired of dripping, or you know you're tired of carrying around your juice wherever you go, and you want to switch to a tank, but you just don't want to lose the flavor, you just don't want to lose the cloud production. This is the tank, the tank to go with, the big fucking tank. The flavor is amazing. It is unrelenting flavor. And it pushes fucking clouds. It kicks shit. Like, it's the best tank I've ever used. And I know I've only used three, but, and it literally, I would take it over an RDA every day. Uh, the only time I really use RDAs is when I'm coming at you guys with a, 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 uh, like a dual flavor like in the last video uh, like I got to do a couple flavors so I don't want to go ahead and change the tank or whatever you know we're just gonna burn the cotton out and you know get on okay guys so the juice that I will be filling up this beautiful tank up with today is a requested juice by Mr. Brandon Stark one of my badass subscribers happy to have you on board Brandon it is gonna be mech sauce batter up it's got a beastly zombie on there holding the club. This is a 80-20 blend and a three milligram. Uh, and it's uh, supposed to be like a, a cake, cake battery taste. So uh, it's gonna be a, just a tiny review on this. The big thing we're gonna focus on is the tank today. So just real quick, smell test. Uh, and it kind of looks like a house juice because of this wax bottle and, and everything, but uh, the, this labeling is is looking more like a premium thing, but let's go ahead and get a smell. Yeah, so very uh, like a cakey battery smell, straight out. Yeah, maybe even a little bit of cookie for some reason. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this tank, guys, and let's do it. All right, guys. Now that we're kind of up close and zoomed, let's bring out this beast and let's start this up. Okay. As you can see, this is the BFT. Mine is in a white finish with like some blood splatter on there, looking super nice. Uh, I've seen, uh, there's a lot of different prices for these tanks. The best price, honestly, that I found 
was on eBay. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, say what you will, but you've, you'll find these on there for right around 35 bucks, um, and they have lots of colors to choose from. There's a stainless steel version, like a gunmetal uh, type of finished one. Obviously this one. Uh, I know you saw it in my other video, the, uh, the green, like the zombie green with the red splatter. That one looks amazing as well. Soup, the, the, just the build quality on this thing is absolutely just top of the line. This is just, it's just heavy, like it's a, just a, a beast. Like I have no other word for it. Uh, on th this part, this, this top screw cap and uh, connecting to this portion here, this kind of like o-ring if you will it's not really an o-ring but uh it's like this uh this kind of rubbery finish it's metal very metal but it has this uh kind of uh rubbery matte kind of finish to it so it's really nice if juice gets on this because it's super easy to clean up it's not that super sleekness to where even if you wipe it off it's still kind of slippery very easy to wipe juice off with and this is your uh delrin uh cap here Super, it's a wide bore, super nice. I, it, for me, it's perfect. It, it, get, it really gives it that RDA feel with that wide bore on there. Moving down, down a bit, guys, to the glass. Uh, just standard glass, you know. Um, the one thing that a lot of people will say is a con about this, and I, and I will too, it, it is a con. It, there is no adjustable airflow on this tank. What you see is what you get. Um, it, it kind of has an attitude, you know, like, I'm the BFT, and you can't do shit with me, I'm just here, you're gonna like me. <laughs> Basically what it's saying. But you know what? I like it. Uh, you know me, uh, when I'm doing my shit, I like to, uh, I kind of like to close off my airflow a little bit, so the, the, the fact that I can't do this on this device, or this, uh, this RTA, a little bit of a, a downside, but it, it hasn't stood in the way of anything I've I, I get a very, very nice uh, vaping experience out of this thing. The best vaping experience. So, uh, and then on the bottom, it is numbered by serial. Uh, and obviously you can see that, uh, that BFT by Omega Mods. Uh, alpha. I guess they call it the Alpha BFT. Uh, you can kind of see that mine has been stained by juice, so that's a, a little bit of a con. But I, I wouldn't consider that a con for this uh, this tank. I'd kind of that's kind of the juice's fault because no matter what you get, uh, you will get juice on it. And uh, this one just kind of happened to stain it a bit. So this is the box that you are gonna get this tank in. Oh, I just love their emblem. They're they're just uh, that Omega like skull is just so sick. Uh, you got this like chrome, super cool, authentic in the top right here, um, and then Omega in the top left. Uh, and it kind of, uh, I don't know if it was the seller on eBay or if uh, the company itself does this, Omega, but they kind of put a sticker identifying the color of what you got. And then just uh, another uh, emblem there, more labeling. Nothing on that side, nothing on that side, nothing on that side, and nothing on the bottom. So kind of a, a bland box, but it's a, it's a good box, it's cool. So you open it up here, and what you're gonna find inside is a little goodie bag. You got some, you actually get an Allen wrench, which I, I do not have in here, um, and then a, uh, a Phillips head. You get some spare O-rings, as well as uh, some pre-built Clapton coils in there that are extremely nice. I have them actually still sitting in my other BFT uh, that they have just been flawless. But uh, then you also get some extra grub screws in there. So awesome, liking that when, when uh, companies do that. You also get an extra uh, glass. It's not frosted like uh, the Griffin does or you know some other companies do. And, um, but yeah, just, just spare if you break it or lose it or whatever. It's kind of hard to lose glass. <laughs> but, and then you get the BFT itself. Uh, and we've already kind of talked about it a little bit, but yeah, that's how it sits in there. Um, you know, just this is like a, a nice patty, foamy thing. It's going to be ship safe. They really didn't include any kind of instruction manual or anything, which is also a little bit of a weird thing. I haven't really seen uh, companies not include that, but it kind of has the same attitude as this thing, huh? It just is like, this is me. Take it or leave it, bitch. So let's open it up and uh, see what we got in here, guys. Uh, obviously, this top screw cap. Just unscrew this here. And there you will see two 
massive juice ports in there super easy to fill no matter what you're using whether it be a wax bottle whether it be a, a big ass dripping needle whatever this thing will fucking take it and uh, also with this uh, this portion here if I can get it there we go oh, hands are a little slippery this uh, this unscrews that the chimney unscrews with the glass and this top metal portion here um, so and then this off this pops out and all that so your o-ring and all that but uh and something really helpful to do if when after you whip this like it doesn't have a wick on there right now but uh don't put your don't put this on and then try and do that and do that uh just uh fucking do it like this first make sure that this chimney fits nice over those uh wicks so you don't have to spend that extra time okay guys so taking it down deep this is a massive 30 millimeter uh, post deck here super huge for all your crazy ass builds high low whatever you want this is just it's a dual post um, just super the build quality is just unmatched like just solid and just it's just so super great and I'm so impressed with it I've used it for just months now and I just can't put it down and I don't want to switch anytime soon it's, it's, it's how I am I guess but um yeah, as you can see, beautiful. Uh, this is a velocity style deck, if I guess if you want to say that. Um, and uh, just, I'm just impressed with this thing, man. Okay, guys. So as we talked about before, we're gonna do a little wicking tutorial here, so I can help you guys out out there if you if you choose on purchasing purchasing this tank. Excuse me. So uh, using cotton bacon 2.0 again. I just can't put this stuff down as well. Uh, super easy. Just just thread it through, guys get it in there um, right till about when you're reaching the other side of this you don't want to cut it flush with the uh, with the Addy down here you want it you want a little overhang because you're gonna be tucking it down in these uh, these juice ports here so uh, I would honestly say that, that is pretty darn good right there and then we'll do the same thing on this side just a little bit past the Addy snip that Get it nice and yeah looking good looking good um, now I'm gonna do this side just the same thing pull her through if I can get her in there there we go I'm gonna get that nice uh, nice and even like on the other side and cut off that portion I touched with my fingers a bunch there we go actually that side can be a little bit more Okay, so that's what that's what it should be looking like right now, right about there. And then what we're gonna do, uh, you can use really anything, just anything really small. I like using this small uh, screwdriver here. I'm not sure the size, but just something small. Like you just use your use your imagination right here. And um, you don't have to wet them uh, prior to shoving them in the in the ports uh, or your holes. Um, but it helps sometimes. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Uh, let me see, I'll try and get on the side where you can see me do this here. So yeah, just take a, take your portion there, and you, you'll shove it down in that uh, that hole there. Super simple, that's, that's another huge reason I love this tank. This is just so simple, like, you know, like the Griffin, man. I loved it, it was a great tank. It was just uh, so hard to wick and, uh, I would always, you know, I'd be getting dry hits, or I'd be, and I know, I, I watch countless uh, reviews on how to do it, I just, I don't know, I guess I'm just not as skilled as some of these, some of these other guys, but, uh, yeah, getting those nice in there, do the same thing here, looking good, looking good, last one. This side was a little bit more, didn't shave off as much, so I might just have to trim a little bit when we shape up that, uh, or we get, when we get ready to screw that chimney down. Okay, looking great, guys. Um, that, yeah, what did that take? Like a good, like 30, 40 seconds? Really not much to it. 
So let's uh, let's grab our um, chimney here. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and get this uh, chimney screwed back on here. See if we need to cut any portions off. It's really easy to cross thread this thing, guys. So just be careful with it. And that is looking perfect. That's exactly what you want it to look like. You don't want to be shoving that cotton like. Once you try to screw this thing on, if it's just squeezing that cotton, you don't want that, because then that's going to mess it up. We don't want that, but this was perfect, so that's good. Let's, uh, now that we've made sure that that's going to go on nice and snug, we can uh, start burning that cotton taste off and get into this mech sauce. What? Okay, so now that we got that cotton taste burned off, let's screw this bad bitch back on. There we go. Let's fill it up a little bit. Um, before I fill this up, um, real quick I just want to say that they advertise this tank as holding 10 mils of juice. No. Does not hold 10 mils. Uh, it holds like a solid eight and a half. Um, if they wanted to include what I just dripped to burn the cotton taste off, maybe that was half a mil, I guess. So, ooh, nine mils, whatever. But uh, yeah, not really true about the 10 mils, but you know what, I can get over that. I hate lying when companies do that lying shit, but, or stretching the truth, whatever. But this tank speaks for his fucking self. So let's uh, just load up just a little bit. From a uh, little bit of mech sauce from my boy Brandon Stark. Appreciate your subscription, brother. A little bit more. There we go. Sitting pretty. And now, this is where this is where it gets important, guys. This tank has a habit of leaking sometimes if you do not do this correctly. And sometimes I even mine will even leak. Like you can't be perfect at doing this, but uh, and it's not a, just a, it's not a super complicated process. But uh, once you're done filling your tank, whether it be to the top or whatever, uh, screw your top screw cap about halfway, right to around that range. Flip it upside down and quickly unscrew or quickly screw the rest in. Once that's done, take two dry hits off it. No pulse firing, I should say. There we go. Now that that's done, you're ready to start chiefing on this thing. So let's get into it. Not a bad juice there, Brandon. Not bad at all. Nice and sweet. And as you guys can see, massive vapor production uh, coming out of this. This is a tank. You guys gotta remember that. This is a fucking tank. And it just fucking rips. Um, for me personally, uh, man, that's actually a really good juice, Brandon. Thanks, thanks for this shit. Good stuff you got going here. Um, uh, a tank will last me. Um, well, I'll kill the tank uh, at about five. Uh, I go to work at around eight thirty, um, and get off at around uh, four thirty. Uh, so yeah, I fill up my tank and it'll last me till about the end of work. And then I gotta refill it, uh, just a little bit. So I think I go, I think I probably go through about 12 mils a day of juice, uh, considering this tank. Uh, so this, thi this thing does kill juice because you're putting out so much fucking vapor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this also, I give credit to this this juice here. It's a it's putting out a lot of a lot of flavor and a lot of uh, cloud production, or a big cloud production. Um, that's another thing with this tank, guys. Uh, especially for you guys that have RDAs and are wanting to switch, worrying about your flavor, worry no fucking more. This thing chiefs flavors. All right, it just bang, it just kills you with flavor in a good way. And that's one thing that when I was looking for a tank. And I was watching reviews on this tank. I, I was noticing that not a lot of the reviewers 
we're saying much about the flavor. And for me, and I, and hopefully for you guys out there, uh, the flavor is a, is a massive thing. It's a massive thing. Like, uh, if you're if you're vaping just for clouds, I mean, I mean that's you. You know, that's cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk shit on you guys. Uh, but for me, I'm a, I, I love flavor. You know, that's why I created this channel was because I'm a I chase flavors. I'm a flavor fucking chaser. Uh, I don't really consider myself a cloud chaser, but I definitely like to put out massive clouds. And you will do both with this tank. I I, I recommend this on such a high level. Uh, I'm not getting paid to say how great this tank is. Uh, and you guys know me. I, I tell you if I love something or if I fucking hate something. I love this tank. And I don't think I will ever go from it. Oh yeah, this is not the biggest tank on the market. But it is big enough. I know there's uh, there's that new tank. It's like the BF uh, RT something. Where it's, uh, I think it's a little bit bigger than this. And um, it's, uh, it's a different tank, obviously. But I just... I wasn't even interested in it because I'm just so in love with this tank. I can't put it down. I recommend it on such a high level, guys. Please, if you are going to pick up a tank, pick up this bitch right now. Uh, 35 bucks. Price point is there. Build quality is there. Venomous vapes. Seal of approval. I should make one. I should make like a fucking venom spider. Venomous vapes approves or whatever. But I'll, I'll, let me work on that. All right, guys. I do have some special things coming, and I, uh, I kind of want to start doing a giveaway. Um, maybe in the next couple of videos, I got some special stuff that I might want to give away to, to one of you lucky subscribers out there. Um, but yeah, guys, let me. I just need another rip of it. This is good fucking juice. All right, my vapors, thank you so much for tuning in once again to your guy, Venomous Vapes. Finally got our first hardware review done. Um, I know I've been I've said it from the beginning that I wanted to get into the to uh, hardware stuff. Finally did, and it was a lot of fun. Like I said in one of my comments, guys, I hope you guys are having as much fun watching my videos as I am making them. This has been so much fun lately. Seeing all your guys' great comments and all the subscriptions, yeah, I'm having a blast, and I just can't thank you guys enough. So yeah, guys, that was my review on the Omega BFT. Please go pick you one up. This this tank is unmatched. And that is subjective. That is that's my opinion. Alright? I, I can't I can't do this review without saying that this is my opinion. But this thing is a fucking dream come true. So <laughs> alright guys thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.